for want of ink we see this bloody writ. Me hath my hapless brother hid from thee. Revenge thyself on Balthazar and him, for these were they that murdered thy son. Geronimo, revenge Horatio's death. Ah, Petringano! What? Oh, oh no, Geronimo. Where's thy lady? I know not. Um, here's my lord. Oh, now, who's this? Geronimo. Yeah, my lord. He asketh for my lady Belle Imperia. What to do, Geronimo? The Duke, my father, have, upon some disgrace, removed her hence a while. If it be all I may inform her of, tell me, Geronimo, and I'll let her know. Nay, nay, my lord, I thank you, there's no need. I had a suit unto her, but uh, too late, and her disgrace makes me unfortunate. Why so, Geronimo? Excuse me. Oh, no, my lord, I <coughs> not. It must not be. I deserve your favour for a greater honour. This is a very toy, my lord, a toy. All's one, Hieronimo, acquaint me with it. In truth, my lord, it is a thing of nothing. The murder of a son or so. <laughs> a thing of nothing. <coughs> What's that? Well, then, farewell. My grief, no heart, no tongue can tell. This sly inquiry of Hieronimo for Bell Imperial breeds suspicion. And this suspicion bodes a further ill. Come hither, Pedringano, sawest thou this? My lord, I saw it and suspect it too. This is that damned villain, Cerberine, that have, I fear, revealed Horatio's death. Oh, Pedringano, to prevent the worst and cause I know thee secret as my soul, here, for thy further satisfaction, take thou this. Lorenzo hands Pedringano more gold. Above them, Geronimo reappears. From his perch in the inner courtyard, he can see Lorenzo, but it's too far to hear what's said. This night, you must, and prithee so resolve, meet Cerberine in St. Luigi's Park. You know where it is, hard behind the house. There take your stand, and see you strike him sure, for die he must, if we both mean to live. But how shall Cerberine be there, my lord? Let me alone. I'll send to him to meet the prince and me, where you must do the deed. Oh, it shall be done, my lord. It shall be done. And I'll go on myself to meet him there. Then shall you mount for this that knows my mind. Pedringano hurries off. Angle on Geronimo, watching as Lorenzo dials a number on his mobile phone. He pulls the letter from his pocket, studies it. My son, slain by Lorenzo and the prince? What cause had they, Horatio, to malign? Or what might move thee, Bel Imperia, to accuse thy brother? Had he been the means? Angle on Lorenzo's page, running up. He too is exhausted and hung over. My lord. Go, sirrah. Wait, sir, Breen, and bid him forthwith meet the prince and me at St. Luigi's Park behind the house this evening, boy. I go, my lord. But, sirrah, let the hour be eight o'clock. He did not fail. I fly, my lord. Geronimo, beware. Thou art betrayed. This is devised to endanger thee. That thou, by this, Lorenzo, should accuse, and he, by thy dishonour done, should draw thy life in question, and thy name in hate. As for myself, I know my secret fault, and so do they, but I have dealt with them. He hears a noise and turns, but instead of Geronimo, the bloody ghosts of Andrea and Horatio are staring at him. He doesn't see them. And better tis that base companions die, than by their life their hazard our good haps. I'll trust myself. Myself shall be my friend, for die they shall. Slaves have no other end. St. Luigi's Park, exterior <coughs> night. Cerberine stands waiting against the wall. Here, yes, Cerberine, attendants, stay your pace. For here did Don Lorenzo's page appoint that you by his command should meet with him. Oh, fit a place, if one was so disposed. He thinks this corner <coughs> is to close with one. Hang on up. Fucked up little car approaching. Now, Pedro Gunner, bid your pistol hold and hold on fortune. <coughs> Once more favour me, here is the gold, this is the gold proposed. It is no dream that I adventure for. I know, if need should be, my noble lord will stand between me and ensuing harms. He gets out of the car. Besides, this place is free from all suspect. Here, therefore, will I stay and take my stand. Pedro Gunner, tracked by the cameras above, 
approaches Cerberi. There sits the bird that I must seize upon. Now Pedrangano will never play the man. Oh, Pedrangano! I wonder that his lordship stayed so long. Bang! Will it not be odd just for me to stand in the place every joke he makes, pointing my finger at this box as if to say, Mock on, here's thy warrant. Is it not a scurvy jest that a man should joke himself to death? He disappears laughing down the stairs. <laughs> Magistrates Court, interior day. Hieronimo, in his new position as marshal, presides in magistrates' robes and chains. Bring forth the prisoner. Gramercy, boy, but it was time to come, for I'd written to my lord and you, for fear his lordship had forgotten me. Stand forth, thou monster, murderer of men. Confess thy folly and repent thy fault. For there's the place of execution. He points to the gallows an imposing structure that resembles the trellis on which Horatio was hung. Pedringano looks at the page, who pulls the carton from his backpack and tosses it about. Sure, <coughs> I confess, nor fear I death, therefore, I am the man. <laughs> it was I slew Cerberi. For blood with blood shall, when I sit as judge, be satisfied, and the law discharged. Dispatch, the fault approved and confessed, and by a law he is condemned to die. Come on, sir, are you ready? <laughs> <laughs> sir, too forward. Sir, dost thou see yonder boy with the box in his hand? What, well, he that points <laughs> to it with his finger? Aye. <laughs> what has he in that box, as thou thinkest? <laughs> Faith, I cannot tell, nor I care not greatly. Pedringano and the page exchange A-OK -okay signs as the hangman arranges the noose around Pedringano's neck. His work completed, Hieronimo goes to the weeping widow of Cerberine, their two children and his parents. Oh, monstrous times when murder set so light. Oh, bloody monster. God forbid a fault so foul should escape unpunished. Dispatch and see the execution done. Pedringano fights with the deputy and hangman. The page snickers. Wherefore stay you? Have you hope of life? I rascal, but my pardon from the king! The page opens the cart and turns it over. Nothing. The hangman does his job. Pedringano swings, the paper he held flutters to the ground. The man, sir, Peter Garde, Gardo, sir, he that was so full of merry conceits. Well, what of him? Sir, the fellow had a fair commission to the contrary. Here is his passport. I pray you, sir, if we have done him wrong. You will stand between the gallows and me. Aye, aye. I thank you, Lord Worship. He exits bowing. Hieronimo opens the letter. As he does so, the ghost of Pedringano appears behind him, <coughs> its neck broken, the noose still tight. The ghost reads aloud. My lord, I write as my extremes required that you would labour my delivery. If you neglect, my life is desperate, and in my death I shall reveal the truth. <coughs> you know I slew Cerberin for your sake, and was confederate with the prince and you, won by rewards and hopeful promises, I helped to murder Don Horatio, too. What have I heard? What have my eyes beheld? Pull back to reveal the ghosts. Andrea, Horatio, Cerberine, Pedringano, gathered around a sleeping revenge. But now when Andrea shakes him, revenge wakes up. Oh, false Lorenzo, are these thy flattering looks? Is this the honour that thou didst my son? And Balthazar, vain to thy soul and me, Woe to thy birth, thy body, and thy soul. But wherefore waste I mine unfruitful words? I will go plainly to my lord the king and cry aloud for justice through the court. Justice and blood will satisfy my woes. He goes out, led by revenge, followed by the ghosts. 